Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop and I'm actually excited about a Floatro, right? So of course we, oh, I actually have the four Floatro right over here. Um, get it real quick. So Curry actually said in an interview, I believe he said the four was his favorite shoe in his entire shoe line, which I agree with. The four is definitely one of my favorites. I love the twos as well. The two and the fours are my favorite in his entire shoe line. And uh, the Curry 4 Low Floatro has just been released and it's actually pretty cheap. All of its Floatros are very cheap. It's only 130 bucks, which is awesome because the Curry 11, which is pretty much the same freaking shoe, they're both using Flow Outsole and Midsole. This shoe is 160 bucks. So a $30 price difference. And honestly, uh, like all the Floatros, you know, the, the one, the two, the four Floatro, they all perform very, very well and very similarly especially with his actual signature shoe line, you know what I mean? So if you guys do want to cop the four low flow tro or the Curry 11, I'll try to leave an affiliate link in the description box, but let's get it started right off with the Tractiones. And the traction pattern is actually a little bit different. They change it up and that's all I really asked for, you know what I mean? Like if you look at the Curry 11, it looks exactly the same as the Curry 8, Curry 9, and Curry 10, which is like, I, I guess if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know what I mean? Or don't change it, but like, make the pattern a little bit different at least, you know what I mean? And that's what they did here in the Curry 4, right? They, they changed up the pattern. It looks a little bit more aggressive as well, which I do like. And that's all, all I was really asking for. Nothing too crazy, you know what I mean? Because if you if you think about it, all shoes that have rubber outs, they're all rubber. And the thing that makes it different is the actual pattern. And you know, if you look at Jordans, right? You, know, you look at the outsole, they're iconic. You know, like all the eights, the nines, the threes, it's all iconic outsoles. So I wish they would just change it up a little bit more, but this is fine with me, right? And of course, as you guys all know, the flow outsole is freaking amazing. It stops on a dime. It'll probably perform very, very well, just like every other shoe that has flow. You know what I mean? Like the, the Curry 4, Flow you know, this is the regular Curry 4 and they change it up a lot comparing it to the regular Curry 4. The upper is very different, the outsole, the midsole. The only thing that's kind of the same is like this knit, you know, and also I guess kind of like the overall silhouette. Um, but yeah, I think they kept it pretty true to the, to the original, you know, comparing it to the regular Curry 4 low, not the Flow This is the regular Curry 4 and I love this shoe. This is one of the, my favorite shoes to play in also uh, in his entire shoe line. I think the low is actually a little bit better than the regular Curry 4 because because the material is just so much better here in the lows. But anyways, so yeah, there's the outsole. It, it'll probably perform very, very well. You know what I mean? It's just it's a flow outsole and all the flow outsoles have performed very well. It does pick up a little bit of dust, but it has amazing, amazing stops, right? Now moving on to the heel to toe transition, also something that Curry's have been doing very, very well, especially with the flow outsole midsoles. So here in the heel, we have a nice rounded shape, right? And also here in the forefoot, we have a very, very curved shape, which I do like, uh, and that's, uh, the same as like the Curry 11s, the Curry 4, Floatros, you know, they all have a very, very curved shape, which I do like. So heel to toe transition when you're doing heel dominant strides on the court, all very, very smooth and feels very similar here in the Curry 4 low Floatro. And we have, a little bit of flex here in the forefoot, just a tiny bit. The Curry 11 is actually the most flexible shoe that has flow. I don't know why they change it up a lot here in the 11, but this is a lot easier to flex comparing to the four, right? It's a little bit stiffer. And same thing here in the regular Curry 4. It's a little bit stiffer. Um, but I think that has to do with the actual overall shape, right? So if you look at it, the Curry 11 is actually a, uh, just a tiny bit flatter. You know what I mean? If you can look at the Curry 4 low flow throw, it curves a little bit more here in the forefoot, right? With that, they, they made it a little bit more flexible, which does make sense. You know, you want a little bit more flexibility if you have less curve here in the forefoot, I guess. So, uh, but either way, they all feel very smooth. Uh, I love how the heel to toe transitions uh, feel in all of Curry's shoes, especially with the flow outsole and midsole. So there's that. Moving on to the cushioning setup, we got flow. Surprise, surprise, you know what I mean? Uh, but this is actually one of my favorite flow midsoles because it's actually kinda, kinda soft. So I feel like with this kind of design here in the midsole right here, it's, uh, it makes it a, a little bit thicker, I guess, here in the heel, right? And it's actually kinda soft. There's a good amount of compression. It's, it's not super soft, you know what I mean? It's nothing crazy, but it has more compression than the Curry 11. And because 
obviously, I mean, this is dual density, right? But I mean, we have a very stiff strobe board. It's not anything crazy. It doesn't improve the step and comfort that much either. And because of this plastic right here, it kind of cages the foam a little bit here in the heel and it doesn't allow for as much compression, of course, right? Uh, but the Curry 4 Low Flow Tro actually has a nice, actually the most amount of compression I felt in like a flow midsole, you know what I mean? Uh, same thing here in the Curry 4, right? it, it's, it's kind of soft, but it's not super thick. You know, look at this, look at how much different it is as far as the thickness of the actual flow goes, right? So uh, yeah, it feels really nice here in the heel, right? And then uh, in the forefoot, it does get dead. And I would say the core feels pretty good. And then if you look at the actual insole, the insole is just a regular kind of like Orthlite insole. And then underneath that, we have a very stiff strobe board, right? So please Under Armour, if you guys can, just follow the Chinese company route. You know what I mean? Because your flow is not super nice. But if you have a pretty soft midsole and you have your foot right on top of that with a soft mesh strobe board, it'll uh, greatly improve the step and comfort. And uh, it, you, it would still be responsive. You know what I mean? It would still be a responsive cushioning step just with a little bit better cushion in my personal opinion. But yeah, uh, it feels just like flow. You know what I mean? But with a little bit more compression here in the heel uh, comparing to all the other shoes that have flow midsole so um i do like the curry for low flow chart it feels very very nice right and this is one of my favorite setups with flow uh, so far right and now moving on to the upper i really like the upper but i hate how much they changed it up uh, here with the flow trail comparing to the regular four, right? So if you look at the regular four, it was a one booty upper if you guys remember, right? This is all one booty and then we have a knit material and it literally felt like a sock. It stretch. look at how stretchy this upper is. It's a super stretchy upper. This part uh, here in the, like on top of your foot stretches over your foot and it feels really, really comfortable. Very, very minimal as well. And then obviously we have this fuse, right? And also in, in toe box, it feels a little bit different, right? The regular four feels really thin this is a really thin material but also feels pretty supportive uh but here in the four low flow tro it feels a little bit thicker you know what i mean it's still thin but it feels a little bit thicker than the four uh, like the regular four low and then uh, obviously we also have this knit material and for 130 bucks we have a very nice knit material you know what i mean and it's not super stretchy though right we do have some like underlying material that it does stiffen up this material you don't have that sock like feeling that you get from the regular four low which kind of sucks, you know what I mean? And why did they change it up so much, you know? It's very, very different as far as the overall shoe goes. I mean, it, I guess like the only thing that's kind of similar is like the midsole, like the midsole shape, but the upper is very, very different, you know? It actually has a tongue for the four low flow trail and it feels very similar to all the other curries, like the curry 8, 9, 10, 11 with a good amount of foam padding, which does feel nice and cozy. And then it's also a half booty construction tongue. But uh, the, what made the four low so nice was this knit material in my personal opinion. Also how minimal the upper was and how lightweight it was, right? And also here in the ankle area, we have like very minimal padding as well. If you guys remember, there's like no padding and then here in the four low flow we do have a good amount of padding, right? So um, I don't know, in my personal opinion, like I do like the coziness of the four low flow trope, but what made the regular four so nice is this knit one booty upper type of thing that they got going on here. So um, yeah, that does kind of make me sad. I wish they would have just kept it the same. Cause if you look at the Curry 2 low flow trail and the regular Curry 2 low and like the Curry 1s, they change it up a good amount. You know what I mean? And I, with the flow trail, they just change it up so much where it's just like so different from the original that it kind of makes me sad. So I wish they would have kept that the same, but uh, what are you gonna do, right? It's still a nice material though for 130 bucks. It's a nice knit material. It feels very nice. It's very thin and minimal here in the toe box, but uh, if it does get nice and cozy here in the back of the shoe basically feels exactly like the curry 11 and all curry 8 9 10 right so uh, there is the upper there moving on to the fit i went up half a size and it fits me very well there is a little bit of length right and i feel like if i went true to size it would have been very very snug so uh just be careful with that if you do want to go true to size uh, it'll probably be a very very snug fit uh so if you don't want that then probably go up half a size right and me going up half a size here in the curry 4 low flow tro fits me very very well and on, on with all the other shoes right the regular curry four and the curry four low i went true to size and it fits me very well as well so uh yeah it's just a, you know, i feel like steph curry's foot 
you know, it's probably very similar to mine and we do like a very snug fit as well. So width wise, it is slightly narrow. Toe box, it is kind of snug as well. So it's a very, very nice fitting shoe, just like all the other Curry's and also all the other Curry's with the flow trail, right? So there is the fit there. Moving on to the support and lockdown, it'll probably be very good. I mean, the Curry 4, uh, the regular Curry 4 and also the uh, Curry 4 Low were adequate enough for me, right? I, it's obviously not the most supportive shoe, especially if you're a bigger dude, but I mean, this is a, like designed for guards, you know what I mean? You're, you wanna be very responsive, you want a very, very lightweight shoe, and that's what they accomplished here in the Curry 4 Low, right? And I guess as far as the uh, sidewalls go, we have the midsole. The same thing here in the Curry 4 Low Floatro, we have the foam coming up acting as a sidewall here in the forefoot, here in the heel, and it seems to have an internal TPU heel counter as well. So lateral containment feels like it's gonna be good, and also lateral stability, I mean, all the flows have very very wide bases here in the forefoot so lateral stability feels like it's gonna be good as well and I've never had any issues with heel slippage or anything like that in, in any curry so uh, yeah supporting lockdown feels like it's gonna be good and uh, another thing that I do like about the design is we can see here on the tongue it's, it, we have Steph Curry's old logo and also his new logo if you guys can see that uh, but yeah obviously it's a mesh of like his old old shoe line right with this logo and then his new logo with his Floatro shoes i guess right and also here in the heel we have kind of like the same design as well with this tag thing going on with the under armor logo which is pretty cool as well um so there's that moving on to the weight the weight is something that i'm pretty curious about right so i mean flow trolls are usually very very light um i'm guessing like 11 10 11 ounces yeah 11.4 ounces for the four low flow troll 11.35 ounces, right? But I feel like this shoe is gonna be like 10. This is super duper light, yeah. 10.15 ounces, right? So this is one of the lightest shoes ever. Um, and then the Kobe 8, even lighter than that. It's like eight, nine ounces for the Kobe 8, right? And then comparing to all the other shoes like the Curry 11, the Curry 11 is very light as well. 11.2 ounces, super duper light. The regular Curry 4 is 10.55 ounces, super duper light for the Curry 4 and the Curry 4 Low, super duper light, right? Uh, but yeah, I mean, it'll probably be very responsive just like all the other Curries with Flow, right? So super good traction, very, very good stops. Cushion feels very responsive as well, but it has a, a little bit more compression than all the other Flow midsoles that I've tried. And then of course the upper is super minimal too. So yeah, I mean, this feels super duper nice and it's one of my favorite Flow Tros, right? I guess besides the Curry 4, the Curry 4 was super duper nice as well. I love this knit material too. But yeah, as far as the 4s go, the 4s are my favorite Flow Tros, you know, the regular 4 and also the Curry 4 Low Floatro. Um, and it's 130 bucks. It's $30 cheaper than the Curry 11. And yeah, if you wanna get the Curry 11 but don't wanna spend so much money, 160 bucks on this shoe, just get the regular like Floatros, guys. You know, the Curry 4 Low Floatro, the Curry 2 Low Floatro, the Curry 1 Low Floatro, I believe are all 130 bucks. And they perform very similarly to the Curry 8, 9, 10, and 11. You know what I mean? So uh, not that big of a difference. Uh, and I really like how this shoe looks. It looks amazing. I love this colorway uh, and it feels really nice. You know, I love the cushioning as well, but the only thing that I, I'm kind of sad about or disappointed in is that they didn't keep the upper from the regular Curry 4 low. You know what I mean? I wish they would have kept it. I don't know why they changed it up. Why, why would you change it up and give us a tongue, you know? Uh, but anyways, that about concludes this video. Again, if you guys do want to cop any of these shoes, I try to leave an affiliate link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.